Today, I'm visiting one of the five grand palaces in Seoul. And no, this is not Gyeongbokgung, this is actually called Changdokgung. And the reason I want to go here is because there is a tour for Secret Garden, which is exclusively in Changdokgung. I reserve my tickets online, but you can also buy it offline. There's limited number of tickets sold per day, both online and offline. And for online, it's actually open for reservation six days in advance. So you have to be quick because the English tour kind of sold out fast. As you can see, it's raining pretty heavily and we actually got strong wind warning from the government. So they had to cut the tour short and we had to skip some of the places. At first, let me tell you the general history of Changdeokgung Palace briefly. This Changdeokgung Palace was built by the third king of the Joseon Dynasty. The Joseon Dynasty was the last dynasty of Korea, lasted from 1392 to 1910. Changdeokgung Palace? Have you been to Changdeokgung Palace? Yes. yes, yes. Actually, that Gyeongbokgung Palace was the main palace of the dynasty built in 1395. And this mm -hmm. palace was built in 1405 as a secondary palace to pick up the main palace, Gyeongbokgung Palace, in case of an emergency such as fire mm -hmm. or natural disaster. Gyeongbokgung Palace is the most well preserved palace among five palaces in Seoul, and it is a beautiful royal garden called the City Garden. So the pear shaped upon represents the moon, while the rock the under the center symbolizes the sky. And there's a pavilion on your left side. This pavilion is called Puyong Chang in Korean. Chang means pavilion, Puyong means lotus flower in Sobola. Because from a distance, it looks like a lotus flower in Sobola on the water. The 22nd king of the Joseon dynasty, one of the greatest kings, King Chongjo. He would enjoy fishing and boating here with his officials. The building was built in 1776 as the Royal Library by the 22nd King. Back in the days, about 80,000 books were preserved in there. And now the books are in Seoul National University for research projects. So the building is empty now. <laughs> Now let's look at this gate. This is a unique stone gate with no joints. There's no joints at all because it was carved from a single block of stone, single block of granite. This stone gate is called Gate of Eternal Youth, Gate of Never Getting Old. There's name on it written in Chinese characters. This gate was made. It was made to pray for the king's longevity. People wish it king's long and healthy life. For your information, 46, only 46, was the average lifespan of the kings of the Joseon dynasty. So that's why you can see many decorations about the symbols of longevity in this palace, including pine tree, deer, crane, all the leaches, rock, they are all symbols of longevity. Also, it is believed that if you pass through this gate, you will not get old. Normally, chimneys are located in the backyard, back side of the building, behind of the building. So from this side, when you have a look over there, you can see between the walls, you can see something red in red bricks. Do you see the chimney? That's the chimney, the protruding part between the wall. So we call this system on-door heating system. On means warm, door means stone. Warm stone heating system. Of course, nowadays, buildings are changed, modernized, westernized. But still, we have on the floating system in our house. Just instead of using the layer of flat stone or instead of this furnace, now we have hot water pipe under the floor, S-shaped hot water pipe, with a controller, with a boiler. So in this way, still we have on the floating system. It means still we have to take off our shoes when we enter our living space, our houses.
after visiting Sacred Garden, I actually wanted to go to National Folk Museum of Korea, which is just beside Gyeongbokgung. I went inside the museum, which is not shown in this video because I believe you can't record it. But I just wish I spent more time on the outdoor part. There's actually also a street of memories at the back there. But sadly, I couldn't see because when I left the museum, it started raining pretty heavily and I ended the trip here.